Colonel Nair, what an absolute honor it is to have you join us here. You know, I, I want to understand from you, you're commanding a regiment, you're at the LOC. What has this been like for you? Firstly, uh, it's an immense pleasure and honor to be here amongst the august ga gathering of fabulous women achievers, path breakers, and path makers. Thank you so much uh, for CNBC TV 18 for giving me an opportunity to be here, part of your future female forward. Thank you so much. Well, uh, commanding a regiment on the LOC implies that I have my troops deployed all along the line of control, braving absolute challenging terrain and weather conditions. So the biggest challenge that I have is to ensure that the adverse impact of the terrain, the weather, and the environment doesn't impact my boys, their safety and security, and also the efficacy of the mission that has been assigned to us. So that is what I feel has kept me going. You know, I can only imagine what that, that is like, but when you're commanding a regiment, you know, you've got adverse weather conditions to deal with. You're on the LOC, which is probably one of the most treacherous terrains uh, psychologically as well. What do you do to keep the morale going, and how challenging has it been to win over the troops, so to speak? Well, well that's... That uh, I would like to define the role of a commanding officer here because that would precisely answer the questions you've just asked me. A commanding officer of a regiment is like a parent to the entire team that she commands. She's required to have the competence, the compassion, the vision, and the foresight to nurture her team, to mold, to mold the team into a formidable part of the armed forces. This entire process entails a lot of training, a lot of uh, activity that imbibes discipline into the troops and that is what is happening on there exactly for more news and updates all you need to do is follow cnbc tv 18 on all of our digital platforms